Introducing first, in the blue corner, weighing in at 63.8 kilograms, from CMBT Training Centre, Gordon, the Little Dragon, real. And introducing his opponent, in the red corner, weighing in at 62 kilograms, out of Southside Training Centre, Nicholas Yang. And our referee in charge when our action begins, Marcus Collins. Marcus Collins with his first assignment of the night. These young men have tapped hands and we are underway. Opening exchange is always interesting to see what the game plan is going to be. Both guys are pretty willing to tie up at the moment, looking for the inside hand position. Yeah, it's always interesting to see sort of at the lower belts as well. They're, they're not afraid to get physical early on. No real fear of gassing. They love to go to the collar ties heavy immediately. There's not too much stalling in the, uh, in the lower belts in the Australian grappling scene. It's going to be interesting to see how the 10-minute uh, the mark goes for these guys because they're used to sort of competing at uh, lower time limits as well. So we'll see if the gas tank lasts. Good head control now from, from Nick. Oh, there it is. Aggressive guard pulls. Oh, he's got the neck here, but... So Gordon's passed straight away. The yeah. side control has got that heavy, heavy hip. Great timing. But again, again in this rule set, you know, uh, the grapplers encouraged to take risks. No points until that nine-minute mark, but uh, Nicholas Yang finds himself with the cross face in uh, bottom side control. Looks like Gordon's looking for, for Mount here. He's trying to set the edge up a little bit higher. Nick's doing a good job of keeping busy underneath. Nicholas Yang resets the guard, much to the... Uh, Oof. He's looking at the elevation. He's yeah. trying to head to those legs, as I spoke about earlier. Nice. Gordon does a good job of controlling the head. Although he's yeah. he's yeah. 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 He's got sort of that rear naked grip. He's trying to reset the knee line there. He's got a pretty deep, deep uh, reap there, I can see. Well, this is where your credentials come in here, <laughs> Nick James. <laughs> so, uh, they're tied up pretty heavily here, but you can see that, that Gordon's doing a good job of trying to control Nick's head. He's coming up now on the 50-50. Yeah, he's... Now, what would you be doing here, Nick? Trying to stand up and, and, and open up that, that, that triangle and... Yeah, so as you can see here, Gordon is reaching back occasionally and, and trying to sort of peel that... We should be trying to pull, peel that leg off, the outside leg. Am I correct in saying that I believe Gordon should be trying to keep that, that right knee turned in as to not be uh, swept... Nick wants to keep that knee on the uh, compromise on the outside. Well, well you can see there he's, he's, yeah. uh, he's been sat back here, so this is a good opportunity for Nick to start to strike the heel. So he needs to create a little bit of distance here and expose his heel. You can see Gordon here grabbing onto his, his toes to, to stop that exposure. He looks calm, but I can tell he'll be sweating on the inside. <laughs> sweating on the outside, surely, no doubt as well. Oh, here's so here we go. He's deep on that leg now, but it's a good opportunity. Good, good job there from Gordon. Shakes out. And a little dance and a hip step away. A little bit of showmanship there from Gordon Real. Watching that head and arm position there. A lot of threats from here. You've got your Dars chokes, anacondas, guillotines if possible. But Nick Yang, defensively sound. I mean, Gordon's willing to go into his guard, so he obviously wasn't too, too threatened from that exchange earlier. It probably gave him a little bit of confidence, so we'll see if he, he turns it up a little bit now. So you can see he's riding those butterfly hooks pretty hard. He wants to get those knees turned in and stay heavy to avoid the elevation. And I suppose that's one of the benefits when you're training down at CMBT Training Centre as well. When you've got a lot of MMA fighters, you, you get a lot of experience with these heavy-hipped heavy -hipped grapplers, you know? Absolutely. Here we go again. So, so Nick again has, has entered into that leg. He's into an ashy position at the moment. But again, Gordon's doing a good job of, of putting that weight forward. He needs to try to sort of step over now. Bit that butterfly hit exactly. still, still presenting problems. There he seems like he's passed comfortably into that half guard. Nick seemed to be 
looking for an underhook on that right side. I think Gordon's quite you know, content just, just to cook his opponent a little bit here. So you yeah. see he'll bring that right knee over the hip to try and pass that left, left leg out. Here we go, swims on the inside. Is. Beautiful little windscreen wiper. And he'll look to bring that leg left, uh, left leg free. Good job by Nick, but like you mentioned before, it is very taxing in this position, and with that shoulder and the jaw, it's none too comfortable either. Absolutely. Gordon needs to be careful here. That's a bit of good composure. Back to the head control. I mean, speaking from personal experience, it can also be extremely demoralizing when you're doing all this work to pass and you do a good job and you pin your opponent and then bam, they're back to that guard yet again, framing, getting you off. You, even though you seem to be in the dominant position, you, it, it starts to weigh on you mentally. Which will become interesting as we get into the final stages of the match because that frustration may well sort of, um, you know, uh, come out in a, in, a, in a move that wasn't necessarily planned. That's what the fans want, Nick James. <laughs> Those low percentage wild moves. Here we go, he's got the legs tied up now. See if he looks to pick up the pace. He's got those, oh nice. A blunders pass, you can see the hip frame there, left, right, left, right. But he, again, Nick's doing a good job, you mentioned it before, he's, he's certainly comfortable in the guard position. And that forearm making it very uncomfortable for Nick Yang, but he's doing a good job with that shrimping, getting back and... Visibly frustrated now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Elbows in, elbows in, good job. And fighting, beat on your opponent. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Watch him jumping in. That's it. That's it. Nice, nice, nice. Four minutes to go. Four minutes to go, hand fight, that's it. So we're three minutes off the points period, so it's going to be interesting to see if the guys take a few more risks in this stage. Some unorthodox pressure there from Gordon, but he's... So Nick's coming to the top now. Yes. We haven't seen... Oh. Trying to roll good. for a leg entanglement there, but... Good defense again from Gordon. But this is what this time period's for. It's for taking these risks, you know, trying to, trying to risk to get a good submission, and then let's see which one of these gentlemen has left anything in the tank for this last minute as we approach it. So Gordon doing a good job of keeping his hand in between himself and Nick. Nick can potentially roll through for the back there as he comes underneath. But again, Gordon's got quite heavy hips. And again, back into that guard. Nick's potentially looking to set up a rubber guard, although as you can see, Gordon's driving heavily forward, which makes that really difficult. Rubber guard, uh, or flexible witchcraft, as I like to refer to it. <laughs> so you can hear Nick's coach, Pasha, giving him really sage advice. He's, he's listening quite well, and he seems pretty calm underneath. But again, this final minute as we come up to it is going to be very, very interesting. worth mentioning as well, uh, these gentlemen setting the tone here at the King's Cup Invitational, the first match on our prelim, but setting the tone for a, a high pace, you know, they're not looking to stall, they're looking to keep creating action, and, and I hope the, I can only hope that the matches following will be taking notice of this, all oh, looking to threaten a triangle there. He's close to the back there. Yes. Could be looking for a choy bar on this left hand side as well. A good job again from Gordon. And he's getting close to that pass, maybe testing the waters a little bit. I think Blake. Yeah, it's, com it's commendable by Nick Yang. He's sort of set a tone of just constantly being the one on the attack, but mm -hmm. just when it seems like Gordon's playing constant defense, he offers a little bit of a threat his own for a pass or something of that nature. So. Fair game to both gentlemen. It's very even so far. Oh, very nice windshield wiper pass there. He's on 10 seconds as well. Ooh. Unfortunately for him, he's not within the, the points period. No, very, very <laughs> He's got that far wrist control though. Yeah, he can step over here for now. There, there it is. See if he can clear that foot to get Ooh, to Matt, and he has. Wow. 
Our referee hasn't awarded any points as of yet, but still got that far wrist control. Possibly looking for a mounted points now. gear team. Points now for Gordon, so that's three points. Mm. This last 40 seconds should be furious from Nick's side of the fence. So let's see now if Gordon tries to get the finish. I mean, that's what the crowd wants, and that's what you know the guys are here to do. So let's see, we've got 24 seconds now. Potentially looking to step over that arm. There we go, oh, the triangle. Mounted triangle here. It needs to go now. Here it is. Oh, wow. Nick Abbott of Posture is out. He's out now. Can he get the pass? He's got three seconds to go. Two seconds. Wow. What a match. Wow. Fantastic effort from both gentlemen. Look at that Nick Yang leaving it all out there. Still a big smile on his face. And why not? It's an amazing effort. No question marks regarding the, the gas tank either. Well, there you have it, Gordon, the little dragon reel.